34 music show wins, the most viewed YouTube video ever in the first 24 hours, first K-pop group to hit 1 billion views, the most listened to female K-pop artist on Spotify, the most successful K-pop girl group concert of all time, the best charting K-pop girl group of all time, the most popular K-pop girl group of all time. And their name is Blackpink. Black K-pop group Black Pink. Blackpink. Blackpink. Black Blackpink is a name that's known all over the world. They are the hottest group in K-pop right now. But what makes Blackpink so special? There have been other groups with a girl crush concept and other groups with a hip hop concept. But what did Blackpink do that started this revolution? In 2011, a group called 21 released their hottest single ever called I Am The Best. The group was on fire to become one of the most successful girl groups of all time. By the end of their career, they had 700,000 sales, 43 music show wins, and 6 taesangs. 21's career had just begun to take off. In July of 2012, YG released a video called Future 21, and many fans interpreted this as YG getting ready to start a brand new girl group despite 21 being brand new themselves, and they were right. The next month, YG released a video introducing a certain girl by the name of Jenny Kim. This would be the beginning of his fresh new girl group, Pink Punk. Yes, you heard me right, Pink Punk. So after a series of teasers, reveals, and rumors, it was speculated that Pink Punk would be a nine member group. So who exactly were these nine rumored members? A name you might be familiar with is Yuna Kim, you might recognize her from the girl group The Ark, and more recently the duo Khan. She was also on the reality shows Superstar K3, Unpretty Rap Stars 3, and The Unit. Next is Park Jinny, who finished 69th in Produce 48, and is now in the group Secret Number. Then we have soloists Jang Hana and Kim Unbi. And lastly, Cho Myun. Yes, that Myun. Main vocalist of G-Idol, and Ari of KDA. Slowly one by one, these five members were removed from the group. Until... May of 2016, four years after Pink Punk was introduced, we were left with these four names. Jenny Kim, main rapper, the face of the group, and the first revealed official member. Next we had Lalisa Manoban from Thailand. Lisa debuted as the main dancer and lead rapper of the group, and was the first non-Korean idol ever of YG Entertainment. The next revealed member was Kim Jisoo, the visual and oldest member of the group, debuting at 21 years old. And the last member of the group to be revealed was Pak Taeyang from Australia, more commonly known as Rose, the main vocalist. On June 28, 2016, YG finally revealed the name of the four member group, Black Pink. And in just less than two months, Black Pink rocked the world with their duo singles Boom Ba Ya and Whistle. It was new, it was fresh, but also confident, cocky, and powerful, thus, finally bringing Black Pink to your area. Both Boom Ya and Whistle topped the charts. 14 days after debuting, they won their first music show award, the fastest a girl group had ever won a music show award after debuting. Just three months later, they released Playing With Fire and Stay. And later in the year, they won five Rookie of the Year awards. Blackpink. 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 In just six short months, Blackpink had already become a legendary group. Fast forward to June of 2018, with just only five songs, Blackpink was already the second biggest girl group in K-pop. Then, they dropped a song by the name of Doo 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 Doo. Little did they know, and little did the world know, that this song would be the catalyst that propelled Blackpink into international stardom. It was an instant sensation and became the most viewed video in 24 hours in YouTube history, and eventually it became the most viewed K-pop group video of all time with 1.2 billion views. The song was addictive and the choreography was viral. It debuted at number 55 on the Billboard 100, which at the time was the highest charting K-pop song ever by a girl group. In fact, they were the first K-pop girl group to make the chart since Wonder Girls in 2009. Their first mini album, Square Up, sold 320,000 units on Kaon, and at the time became the 8th best-selling Korean album of all time for a girl group. 
Their presence eventually caught the eye of a certain British singer by the name of Dua Lipa. This would eventually spark a collab called Kiss and Make Up, which would once again chart on the Billboard 100. In October of 2018, Blackpink signed with Interscope Records, which is under a little company by the name of Universal Music Group, the biggest music company in the world. And it seemed like Blackpink was everywhere. They made appearances on the talk shows The Late Night Show with Stephen Colbert and Good Morning America. Then in March of 2019, they became the first K-pop girl group to ever grace the cover of Billboard magazine. Later that year, they embarked on their In Your Area World Tour, which would eventually become the most successful world tour by a girl group of all time, grossing $37 million. Their single Kill This Love dropped on April 5th, 2019, once again breaking the record for the highest charting K-pop girl group song, charting at 41. Their album Kill This Love would garner 380,000 sales in Gaon, becoming the seventh best-selling girl group album of all time. On April 12th, Blackpink went on to become the first K-pop girl group to ever perform at the super music festival Coachella. On April 22nd of 2020, Blackpink collaborated with Lady Gaga to release the single Sour Candy. This would once again break the record for the highest charting K-pop girl group song, charting at number 33. On June 26th, Blackpink released their long-awaited single how you like that, and would go on to break five Guinness World Records, including the most viewed YouTube video ever, in 24 hours with 86.3 million views. Just eight hours later, the video went on to become the fastest video of all time to hit 100 million views. Six days later, it broke 200 million views, the fastest video of all time to reach it. Which leads us to today, August 28th, Blackpink's newest single with none other than Selena Gomez. Everything that Blackpink touches turns to gold, and there is no doubt that this next single will continue to elevate Blackpink to the zenith of K-pop history. A newcomer or even a veteran to K-pop will know after the first seconds of watching or listening to Blackpink, immediately they'll get hit with that doo 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 doo. This group is different. There's a certain power and energy that emanates from Blackpink's music and image. To reiterate the earlier question, other girl groups have done the girl crush concept, like 21 or 4 Minute. There have been other groups with the hip hop concept. Remember Evil? Remember Glam? Those groups have not even come close to what Blackpink has achieved in four short years. What is their secret? How do they make the masses whistle like a missile? In 1998, K-pop was still in its early infancy. This new exciting generation of music gave birth to some groups like SES with their vibrant love songs, Finkel with their cute, energetic, sporty concepts, and last was a group by the name of Baby Vox. They combined elements of Western hip-hop with the brand new energetic K-pop, the original Girl Crush. Together, these three groups dominated the radio waves. Sound familiar? How about now? Oh wait, <clears throat> there we go. After the first generation of K-pop came and went, another hip-hop group was breaking records left and right. Twenty-one, expanding on the empire that Baby Vox built, they added another layer of badassery and rebellious nature to their songs. Twenty-one was changing the K-pop industry, and finally, in 2016, enter Player Three, Blackpink, who was almost a carbon copy of Twenty-one. In fact, YG himself stated that Blackpink was meant to be a copy-paste of 21. He did not want Blackpink to be any different at all, saying, I tried to make the YG version of a girl group like I did with 21, but this time I wanted the girls to look pretty too. Just like how 21 built their foundation on Baby Vox's concept, Blackpink was once again evolving the concept of 21. So what exactly is the Blackpink concept? Blackpink is the energetic hook and the exotic beats hitting your eardrums. The thumping bass and the blaring air horns. The combination of swag, hip-hop, badassery, and fire. A little bit of sexiness, a touch of glamour, and a hint of female empowerment. The mix of dark black ferocity and a dash of bright pink pop sound. Jenny's power, Jisoo's saccharine sound, Rose's alluring vocals, and Lisa's lethal raps. This is the Blackpink sound. Blackpink is not the first girl group to do a girl crush concept, and they certainly won't be the last, but they are the greatest of all time to do it.
Now, as much as we praise the girls of Blackpink, Blackpink is so much more than just the girls themselves. There's a team of executives, of administrators, a team that makes music, a team that makes wardrobe, a team that choreographs, and of course, a team that makes big marketing decisions. Now, any great company or organization needs to have a solid marketing team and great brand image. But what exactly does brand image mean? Simply put, it's the customer's perception of a brand. What does a customer think when they see your brand? A perfect example is Apple. You see Apple and you already know what they're about. They're sleek, they're futuristic, they're high tech, they're clean. You see Nike, you think sports, speed, strength, inspiration. Now that is brand image. Out of all the groups in K-pop, Blackpink has the strongest brand image. There's a saying in marketing, if you confuse, you lose. Meaning if the consumer doesn't know what your product or service is about, you'll lose them. But one look at Blackpink, you don't even have to listen to their music and you know what this group is about. You understand their image, their concept, their music. You, the consumer, already know all this way before Lisa even whispers Blackpink in your area. They're fierce, powerful, glamorous, they're hip hop, they're girl crush. YG has carefully crafted Blackpink's image from the sound of their music to the color of their hair. We already discussed their music concept, but there's also the costume, the facial gestures, the makeup, the merch, the light stick, the teasers, the set, and props. Even who they interact with and the events they attend are all part of their brand image. As a result, Blackpink only attends VIP prominent events, and they rarely attend events with other idols like music shows or even the ISACs. YG has been infamous for this in the past, wanting his groups to appear exclusive, or as some haters would say, YG wants Blackpink to appear as their better than the other groups. And there may be some truth to that. Blackpink wasn't meant to be like the other groups. Right from the start, when he built this group, YG was aiming for something bigger than just Korea. He wanted to dominate the whole entire world. Blackpink was built with that specific purpose in mind, built specifically as a group that would target the Western audience and preferences. Precisely why this group was picked with three fluent English speakers, two Japanese speakers with the other two learning, and two speakers with basic Mandarin. This is to target the two biggest markets in the world and the most populated country in the world. The group is one of the most skilled multilingual speaking groups in the industry. Lisa, at this point, is a walking Google Translate app. This next big marketing move will be referred to as the as if it's your last strategy. When Blackpink debuted in 2016, they had two singles, then just three short months later, they came back with the singles Playing With Fire and Stay. And fans were excited because it seemed like the group was consistently coming out with new music. Then seven months later, in June of 2017, as if it's your last hit the deck like Pam Pam Pam. It was an exciting single with bright aesthetics and a hot beat, but that's all it was, a single. No album, no b-sides. The name As If It's Your Last was truly a fitting name for Blackpink because it felt like, well, it was their last single. And for the next year, the airwaves were silent. The fans were furious, annoyed, dejected, but most importantly, they were hungry. A lot of you guys are asking for our comeback. It's hard to ignore because it hurts my feelings just to read them and just ignore. I'm not ignoring guys, it's just that we are not too sure, so. I'm sorry. Don't give up guys, let's not give up, both of us. <laughs> the fans thirsted for any piece of Blackpink content they could find their hands on. Rumors, mashups, fan art, YouTube theories, the reality TV show Blackpink House, Finally, in June 2018, the famine was doubling Blackpink's entire discography from five to nine songs. And immediately, Blackpink knocked that and got another banger. As mentioned earlier, Doo 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 became the most viewed video in 24 hours in YouTube history and eventually became the most viewed K-pop group video of all time with 1.2 billion views. So it seemed like YG's strategy had worked. Here I have outlined a 100% 
foolproof YG plan. Step 1. Starve the fans for a year. Step 2. Tease them a little. Give them a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Step 3. Release. Drop the single that's too hot to handle. And the last step is dominate the charts. Kill them and stack up my millions. Now, this is a risky strategy, but in economics, this is called the scarcity principle. If there is very little of a product, in other words, if a product or service is scarce, more people will deem it to be of high quality, driving up demand. How many times have you seen advertisements that say, limited time offer or while supplies last? Scarcity creates demand. People want what they can't have. K-pop fans hate it, but it really is a genius move. Other K-pop groups wouldn't be able to pull it off. K-pop groups depend on constant promotions and comebacks to create brand awareness. But Blackpink's brand awareness stats are already maxed out at level 99. There isn't a K-pop fan alive who doesn't know who Blackpink is, so they are able to use this method to build demand. Additionally, YG built Blackpink with the intention of expanding globally, specifically westward. I know for K-pop fans, a year break is a long time, but for Western standards, a year would actually be considered a very fast comeback. Ed Sheeran usually has a 2-3 to three year break in between his albums. Pharrell hasn't released an album since 2014. Queen is still active and performing and going on tours, but they haven't released new music for 24 years. So with that perspective in mind, is one year really that long? Awesome screen, awesome camera, long lasting battery life. Music, choreography, a great marketing team, those are all great things to have. But what really draws people to Blackpink are the heroines of Blackpink themselves. Park Chaeyoung, Lalisa Manoban, Kim Jisoo, and Jenny Kim. Whether it be their charm, their personality, their story, or their amazing talent, there is something about each of them that makes a fan want to follow them, devote their life, or possibly even worship them. Lisa was born in 1997 with the name Prantriya Manoban in Thailand. Early in her childhood, she met with a fortune teller who said she should change her name to Lalisa, as this name would bring her immense luck. And what does Lalisa actually mean? Translation? The one who is praised. Fast forward a decade later and the name could not be more true. She is the most popular global idol in the world by a huge margin. On Instagram, she has 38 million followers, making her the 90th most followed account in the world. Of the top 100 accounts, she had the most engagement with 21% of her audience engaging with Lisa. For comparison, the top 5 accounts, the official Instagram account Cristiano Ronaldo, Ariana Grande, The Rock, and Kylie Jenner, have an engagement of 1.55%. In 2019, she was the most searched and trending idol according to Google. Her star power was such that even her legs alone went viral all over the world, with people like Stephen Colbert, James Corden, Lil Nas, and thousands of others parodying the meme. People love Lisa. People want to be Lisa. People praise Lisa. <laughs> what is it about Lisa that draws people to her? Look at you, now look at her. Well, first and foremost, she is the pinnacle of dancing prowess in the industry. She was able to beat out thousands of other hopefuls in Thailand at the 2010 YG auditions because she was the best dancer and best performer by miles and miles. She is, she can be very, very sexy and very, very cute. She has perfect control of her body. She can take a move that would look awkward on anybody and make it look amazing. You watch her and all you want to do is dance. When she dances, you can see that she has flame in her veins. Her dance is like crack. Every day she's styling, killing everything in her way she's wild in. Not only that, Lisa just has such a lovable personality. She's funny, she's cute, she's cheerful. She's just a ball of sunshine and optimism. You can be sure that she'll be kicking down the door to everyone's heart in your area. Rosie was born in 1997 in Auckland, New Zealand as Pak Cheyang. She later moved to Melbourne, Australia when she was 7 and spent most of her life there. Originally, Rosie did not believe that becoming a K-pop idol was in the cards for her, but her father encouraged her to follow her dreams. Did you audition for YG in Australia? Yes, like literally like just an open audition. W why'd you do it? Because my dad told me to. <laughs> Rose stated, in Australia, 
I didn't think that there was much of a chance for me to become a singer, especially to become a K-pop star. I was living so far from the country that it never really occurred to me as a possibility. And from day one, Rosé was noted for her amazing golden vocals. In the 2012 auditions at Sydney, she beat out 700 other hopefuls, placing first. Because of her unique voice as a 16-year-old, she was placed on a track called Without You, with the biggest name in K-pop at the time, G-Dragon. Since then, of course, she's debuted with Blackpink, captivating not only with her prominent singing, but with her sweet charm, kind heart, and innocent wholesomeness. All the times that you And then, there's Kim Jisoo. All it takes is one glance, and immediately you're hit with her immaculate visuals. And you're not alone. That's what the talent scouts at YG notice about Jisoo. Recognized as being one of the greatest visuals in K-pop today, she's a model for Kiss Me, Cartier, Burberry, and of course, one of Dior's muses. You wouldn't have guessed it by a first glance, but Jisoo is actually the comic relief of the group. In terms of variety skills and humor, Jisoo is easily the best in the group. She's wacky, funny, and eccentric. In Korea, she's what's referred to as having a 40 personality. She's a complete goofball, which is what most fans love about her. Whether it's just being a complete jokester, prankster, or balancing bottles, what's certain is that she won't be leaving fans bored. Yahoo! My heart so bounced, okay? And lastly, of course, is Jenny Kim. Many people are calling her the queen of K-pop. Despite debuting just four years ago, ever since she was revealed as a trainee back in 2012, she has been making waves. It seemed like even as a trainee, Jenny was destined for greatness, making her first MV appearance in 2012 as a 16-year-old in G-Dragon's XX, and then even joining him on stage later for Black Black. She was easily the most popular female idol in Korea of 2019, topping the brand rankings. She earned first place six out of the 12 months Recently, her solo song, fittingly named Solo, was a monster hit, becoming the most viewed music video by a female artist with 500 million views. Many people who know her personally describe her as being charming and sweet. On screen, she appears to be this fierce, powerful, bulletproof diva, but in real life, she's actually a sweet softie. <laughs> <laughs> and is the poster child of badass, of girl crush, of ferocity. She is the princess of YG, the human Chanel, the it girl of Korea. The person everyone loves to hate. Some look at her with envy, while others look at her with admiration. Some people hate her, many people love her, but everybody knows her. And together, they become the most powerful and the most hyped girl group in K-pop history. The world is theirs for the taking. Everywhere they show up, blows up. Currently, YG is sitting on the biggest gold mine in K-pop history. Their potential is limitless. YG just needs to play his cards right, and currently, he has a royal flush. But, he actually needs to play them, and let the girls of BLACKPINK shine. BLACKPINK recently hit their 4 year anniversary a couple days ago, and to date, they've only had 17 songs. And, I know that's frustrating for a lot of blinks who are just done with waiting. I know you gotta be tired, and when the night gets dark, let them be your fire.
See you later, boy.